Good day, folks. Tom Murky here. I want to share with you segmenting your day, how to segment your day. Okay, and pardon the beanie hat. <laughs> I was just out. We got about a foot, 16 inches of snow in the last 24 hours. And um, nice, heavy, wet April, spring, beautiful snow. And uh, about 20, 25 degrees out today. And um, my. Uh, I have a bunch of pine trees that are between 12 and 16 feet tall. And so I had to go out and, and put a, uh, my pitchfork to them and, and clean all the snow out because of how heavy it was, starting to get branches dangling and all kinds of stuff. So <clears throat> didn't, uh, didn't want one day of, of this much snow on them breaking branches. It's, it's not a good thing. So um, they're very valuable trees and, uh, the little birds are going to really have fun with them this summer. So, <clears throat> but anyhow, that's why the beanie hat. It's uh, it's still pretty chilly out. I just cranked up the fireplace, but um, wanted to share segmenting your day and how how to segment your day with you today before it got too late. You know, I'm I'm in the first week uh, of my 90 day challenge to myself to do a blog post a day and so far I'm doing pretty good and loving it having fun I hope I'm giving you good value um, and if I'm not give me a topic and, and let's visit about it and hopefully I can help you a little bit more with it so so segmenting your day uh, you know we're, we're all real busy these days and <clears throat> blah 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 you know mainly what we are is distracted in my mind and um, so so what I've really found that helps me uh, there's a few things I, I love to do every day I love to read I love to exercise I, lo I love to share with others I love to interact with others and um, it all takes time and it's time well spent and, and you need time for yourself I like to meditate every day too and and really stretch I have a series of yoga postures I like to do and it's amazing how good I feel when I'm done. Um, so, so what I've taken to do is uh, I will write them down. What what I must accomplish for the day. Okay. So as I write them down, I check them off. But I do this the night before. I I did for this. I did this last night before I went to bed, and I I now have that embedded in my mind. When I go to sleep, a lot of times I'll put questions down. Um, how do I want to, what bike ride do I want to take? Um, how do I, I deal with this situation to make it a win-win proposition? How am I going to prepare for my live event on Saturday? Uh, those type of things. So I give that to my subconscious mind before I go to bed. It's amazing how solutions come to me. 3.30 in the morning sometimes or, or I have some very good clarity when I wake up and, and really pre-plan my day. I, I segment my intention for that day and when, when you start your day like that it's amazing how many good things happen. But So I'm segmenting my day in one hour increments and when that hour is done I, I stop and I move on to the next and really in within that hour then I'll take four or five minutes focus relax breathe a little bit drink some water use the restroom those type of things and then I go on to the next thing so I give myself an hour for exercise and you know if if it takes a little longer stretching that day and I don't get in as many push-ups or lift so be it um, if, if I want to sneak in a little extra one, one time I will um, do more than an hour is during a bike ride. Um, it, it's just so mentally refreshing and relaxing and just feels so good getting all that fresh air in, into the bottoms of my lungs. Okay, So I, I will cheat on that one a little bit, but I do not read for more than an hour. Okay, If I'm doing my affirmations, um, if I'm creating content, it's an hour. And then I, I I leave it, and so so I've found that I get much more done paying the bills. Do it for an hour, cooking dinner. Do it for an hour. 
Okay, when I segment my time, when I segment my day in hour increments, really, I, I focus, I'm determined. I don't let the distractions, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, blah, 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 I let my answering machine do its work. I don't answer the phone when they call. Unless it's Tyson, unless it's Rose, unless it's Laura, and it's important. Otherwise, I let the answering machine do its work. And then, for an hour a day, I segment my phone calls. So let's organize yourself in time. Let's try to segment yourself. Maybe 45 minutes works better for you. Maybe 90 minutes. But get some segmented intention going on. Segment your day. Here's how I segment my day. Savor your day. Thanks. Be well.